Hello YouTube, this is the one man outside here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an intro um, like you just saw. Um, it's one that I made by myself, I uh, watched the video on YouTube, and um, it, it was a little hard to understand, so I'm going to make a video to make it a little easier to uh, understand and make. Okay, so open up Cinema 4D. <clears throat> what you want to do is go to MoGraph, Text Object, and... I'll just type in sample. Just click right here. And uh, I'll align it in the middle. You can change the font if you want to, but I'm not going to for this. And this will be in part one and two. Okay. So what you want to do now is uh, you want to go to oh that's not it. The light and go to floor just want this to be oops, want the name to be up above the floor quite a bit you just don't want it to be under it okay and uh, what you always want to do if you have a text object just um, name them because sometimes you use quite a bit of them okay now we're going to um, uh, put light again and click on floor again we also want to bring this one down Make it to where it's just right above the other one. And what you want to do is click on this right here and drag it. If you drag it, you will see this number go up. So what you want to do is just put 90 because you want it to be a 90 degree angle. It's going to uh, cover this up. So we're going to go back to this and just move it. Put it about right there so that we have a good amount of spacing in between. That looks like pretty good, maybe a little farther back. Okay, that's nice. Now, we're going to double click this and we're going to just make a, um, a color. So I'm just going to take a nice dark red and make a little orange. There we go. Now we get a nice orange. What you want to do is you want to go on transparency and change that to 20%. And then reflection, you will want that to be 30%. So we have a nice color right there. Specular, you can have that on or off, whatever you want. I keep it on because it gives it a little more light. Okay. Now all you want to do is drag that right onto sample. And now you can see it is kind of transparent, but if you click on this, you will see that it's a nice, not, not, uh, really nice color. Okay. Now we're going to add a color to the floor. Okay, this one, oops, you want the color to be pretty much a gray. Usually I just pretty much go with a black and then I brighten it up. That looks good right there. Now, um, you also want to put the reflection on this one, also, 30%. Uh, and that should be good right there. Now, all you want to do is drag those on there. And that should give this a nice, yeah, see, you can see the reflection from the back and on the floor there. Just to make this a little easier to work with, we're going to add a light. Just put that over here. End up a little bit. With a light, it's going to make this look a whole lot better because um, you can see the reflection a lot more. Just kind of moving that a little bit. Okay, now if you look at this, you have a really nice reflection on the back and on the front. We will be adding um, probably another light later on, but that might come in in part two. Okay, so now, so now what you want to do is click on sample, and um, you want to click, if you're on a Mac, command, option, um, or command, CV, 
and it will copy it. You can also just make another one and um, copy it down or um, just just make another one and put it in the same spot. Now um, for sample one we're going to make a different color. I'm gonna make it almost the same color except it's just going to be a little brighter. There's bright orange there. Maybe a little brighter. I like the yellow. Yeah, we'll go with the yellow. Transparency 20%. Reflection 30. I think that's what I had on this one. It's 30. It looks about the same. So there we go. And as you can see, it's going to cover up the color. But what we're going to do is we're going to move the floor down a little bit and we're going to get this as close to the floor as we can about right there or what we can just do oops, is move this back and now we're going to start with the letters here for sample you want the depth to be 24 that's what I usually put it as So I have 24 on there. And you want to make sure the coordinate is at 0. Now for sample 1, the second one, you want the coordinate to be at 6. And you want the depth to be uh, 12, half of the first sample. You want to go into caps and um, put fillet cap for both of them. going to do here is just put this one also at zero and this at zero. We can always just raise the floor up and bring this back. Let's see how that looks. See how much room we have here. It's a good amount of room. Now if you look on um, with our color here, you can see it's kind of got like an outline to it of a different color and it makes it look like, um, it gives it a little different shape and it just looks like two different colors put in one letter. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're going to want to do is add our second light here. We're just going to put this one about right here maybe. And drop it down. See how that looks. Might be a little too bright, so what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it. We're going to drag it this way. So that we get more of an orange effect on one side than we do on the other. Yeah, as you can see this is a little brighter than over here. We'll stick with that. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't think I'd be getting this far, but we're gonna we're gonna go down here and type in 350. I just drag this. And you're gonna have um this is gonna be your time frame. And um because I usually forget about the time frame, so I figured I'd just do that now. Okay. Now we're gonna add another uh text. So go to MoGraph, text object, and I'm just going to put it as subscribe. There we go, bring this here. Put it about right there. So that when we look in the reflection, I think if we can just look from right, just kind of move up. I um, mean, you can see the, the word letters are right there. So if you look in the reflection, you can see subscribe. So that um, later on, like at the end of your 
intro, you can just have it say subscribe and then zoom in and just like go right through the wall or something like that. Okay. So what you're going to want to do with this is also click here. And we're going to make this negative 90. Apply. So that if we go from here and we go about right here, it looks like, um, during the video, you can click there and you can just go straight to subscribe and you can see that pretty good. You can change the color if you want to, but I'm not going to do that because I kind of like sticking with the white color because of the, um, the other color is black, so it makes it stand out more, or the gray. Okay, so now what we want to do is we're going to start the recording. And we want to go to the light and then the camera. We want to go to cameras, scene camera, and camera again. Okay, so now what you want your video to start out as, I'm going to start it out from being inside of the P and through the wall. So what we're going to do is click keyframe. And I'm going to have it come out pretty decent speed so we're gonna go out and it's got you have to make sure that it's got to be inside these dots um, to be able to see um, for the camera so you, what I'm gonna do is have it go about right there click keyframe again remember after every time you click keyframe you have to move this because or it's not gonna work it'll just bring you back to that one frame again and you'll have to um, position it back. Okay, YouTube, I'm back and I finished the keyframes. Now, what you're going to want to do is just click back here and it'll start you from your beginning. You click the play button, you can see what it's going to look like. You won't be seeing those blue lines and you will be able to see the reflection. Don't worry about that. And um, as you can see, the subscribe right there is it will show. Okay. Now, we are actually done with the video at that point now. So, uh, what you want to do, I, I'm guessing this is not going to be in a part one or part two. I'll have to find that out after I see how long the video actually is. Okay, we're going to put out full render. Go to output. Put it at 1280 by 720. And go from frame one to 350. Go to save and format. Um, if you're on a, a PC, you're going to have it as uh, AVI or WAV. But if you're on a Mac, you want to go with QuickTime Movie. And for here, um, save it to wherever. I'm just going to go to desktop. And I'm going to name it uh, sample. Click save. Now, uh, what you want to do is um, you can exit out of that. You want to click this um, orange button right here, and um, that will start rendering it, which will uh, start making it and save it to your desktop. Um, since it is very, it's a pretty good quality for it, as you saw the intro. Um, it will take um, maybe up to an hour, depending on um, how much movement you put into it. Um, but if you have more color and more detail most of the time, it will take longer. But for this, it should take, for me, maybe about half an hour. So I will be right back. Okay, YouTube, I am back, and it is done. And it did take about two hours for that to completely finish, which was longer than I thought. Thanks. Please rate five stars, subscribe, and comment if you would like. Thank you.